Hello and welcome to Let's Play Kengo, Master of Bushido. This is a PS2 game from the year that is already left the screen, I'm sorry. Oh, and it looks good. Oh, yeah, PS2 models. Oh. I, I hope you don't care which character we are because they're almost literally the same. <laughs> We're gonna go with this guy, though. And we have a, like... I think it's what? seven different schools to choose from oh, that determine wow. what our starting moves are. But we will be getting moves from all of the schools eventually. So I'm just showing them off here. Yeah, screw that one. It's ringing there. Uh, you sure it wasn't cinematic, you know, film? Oh. Old school film tearing? That's a good point. Maybe we should go back to that one. That one's old school. No, we're gonna go with the the starting one, because it has the best basic move set, really. Which one lets you just start off with an axe? None of them. <laughs> just cleave right through the enemy's katana. In fact, you don't even start off with a katana. You start off with a boken. How do you pronounce a wooden sword? The a stick. No, it's the b o k k e n. It's oh, boken, the, right? like actual. Okay. Anyway, the the story is the samurai period's over, but there are a bunch of LARPers who are literally killing each other just to try to recreate the samurai period. All right, I can dig so, that. So they're learning sword fighting because they're that hardcore. <laughs> so, you know, just imagine all the people playing Quidditch, but literally oh, jumping Jesus. off buildings because they want to be able to fly. <laughs> Stabbing each other brutally. <laughs> I don't remember brutal stabbings from Quidditch, but I didn't read any of the oh, books dude, past the first one. You didn't one. play a Canadian Rules Quidditch. I, I guess not. Trust me, if you want to be a Canadian Quidditch player, you got to be hard fucking core. So, oh god, there actually is sound in this game. <laughs> there is sound, yes. <laughs> and Japanese voice acting that is untranslated in certain Oh instances. god! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! This guy's fucking you up! <laughs> Yes, this oh, is God. the uh, this is the head of the dojo, and Did this whole thing is just here are the buttons. Now get owned, idiot! Blow the whistle! Blow the whistle! <laughs> no, it's, it's just thirty seconds. Holy shit! Yeah, I'm oh such a good God. sword fighter right now. Okay. And he says something at me, but it's not subtitled, so I have no idea what it was. <laughs> yada yada does it. He probably said, get wrecked, idiot. <laughs> so now we learn this is a simulation game. Oh. You've got stats and grinding. Oh, awesome. <laughs> so here's our first lesson. <laughs> For a second there, You I hit people. I thought that was letting you pick a different school, and I was going to be like, let's pick one where we don't immediately get our ass beat by the teacher. No, you immediately get your ass beat no matter what school you pick. Oh, God. oh shit. See, here we go. During that first fight, your stats are artificially lowered, and the dojo <laughs> masters are artificially inflated just so that he schools you. Dude, this game's a dick. See, now I've got to hit this guy, what was it, ten times in a minute? Yo, that's pretty easy. Hey, you did it. I mean, I saw you swing in the opposite direction a couple times. Oh, the controls <laughs> are garbage in this game. The movement controls are absolute garbage. Oh, perfect. Oh, wow, that was it. <laughs> yeah, that was... See, now it's defending. Key point, if you get hit in this lesson, you need to defend more. It, your remaining times will tick back up. Oh. And each time you block... You lose some of your key meter, the green meter at the bottom. Okay. If it's empty, you cannot block. Oh, perfect. Ooh. See, I got hit there, so my counter went back up to nine before I started t counting down again. Oh, so it is possible to run out of key and not have the ability to block until after the time is up. And you just <laughs> cannot defend ten times in a row. The dojo master just comes in and beats the shit out of you again. He tried to block this bitch! <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> yeah, and that's the other thing, is you're at the mercy of the AI for when they decide to attack you. 
<laughs> so you can get trolled by running out of time in that lesson. It's like, here, block these shots, and he just swings to the left of you constantly. But no, these are important sword fighting lessons. God, right? maybe the samurai era should just end. <laughs> if these it, are the it guys. It kind of has now. Well, I mean, they should just let it go. Oh, oh. Yeah, parrying is some really tight timing when your stats are garbage. There we oh, go. Hey. That was a parry. Fancy. Parrying is also how you learn moves in this game. What? When you parry an opponent's move, if you don't know what the move is that they used, you will learn it. That uh, sounds like it would be really interesting if this were a game that worked. Yeah, if this were a game that worked, it would be super interesting. Hey. But at least you don't have to parry additional times if you get hit. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was about to mention that. That would be the dickest move. Alright, but that's probably enough lessons. You're a master at this now, right? Oh, so, yeah. uh, so fight somebody who has better stats than you, and win. <laughs> you can do that, right? Yeah, fuck him up. So look, we got health bars now. Ooh. Oh god, <laughs> just slash up his spine. Well, it's wooden swords. That's a thought that counts. But yeah, that's my whole strategy at this point, is try to parry a blow and then hit him in the back. <laughs> this camera, I gotta say. Oh, the it, camera? It, you have no control over the camera, it's entirely automatic. It looks good. And the movement controls are relative to the camera. Oh no. So if it decides to swing around, <laughs> suddenly up means right, or whatever the hell. Awesome. This guy is terrified of you. Well, I keep making him spin around. Maybe he gets dizzy. Oh, oh, oh finally God. I got the whole combo off. Very slowly. <laughs> with all of the slowness in the world. Yeah, we're still kind of moon fighting here. So now we have training options unlocked. Were we not training? No, now we can actually build up our stats. Oh, thank god. We do that by hitting things. Oh, shit. Do you like DDR? Oh, no. Because that's how you train in this particular training. Oh, jeez. Regardless of what button you need to push, he does the exact same strike. Yep. Like, it doesn't even make you feel good that way. Oh, you did it. Yeah. And as you do this training repeatedly, it will make you press face buttons as well, and then the trigger buttons. Oh, right on. And the tree gets more health. Oh my god, that's all you got. Yeah, also notice how our oh. stat is 780 out of whatever. So this training increases our stat maximums, but not our actual stats. I am still garbage so, at all of the stats. How do you make it go up? Uh, you make your stats go up by fighting. Oh god. So you have to grind in order to grind. Yeah. But oh. no, this should be your favorite, because this is the Ocelot torture scene <laughs> as samurai training. Where you, you mash to build your spirit, and you let go to recover your health, and if you run out of health, you lose. Oh, God. And, and that's it. it. And you get to wear your little uh, man diaper while you do it. <laughs> well, I was about to say, as is tradition, you are naked. Like, you can't do a torture sequence without at least taking your shirt off. No, they, they go all the way down to man diaper. <laughs> okay, see, this one sounds cool. No, this is the worst one. Oh, shit. Because this one, 
actually uses those horrible movement controls oh, no. and attack controls. So you are only good at this game once your movement speed increases. Oh, what? But this is the one that increases oh, your movement God. speed. You have to train at this to get good enough to train at this properly. There is a very upset dog and or cat in the background. <laughs> Yeah, that is just part of the game. The dulcet tones of a screaming cat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and you played this entire thing. It, blessedly, it is a, not a long game. <laughs> That's fair. But I beat the shit. entire game from this moment to uh, the uh, end of the game in about a day and a half. This is the exact point where I would have been like, you know what, fuck this game. <laughs> So is there no music at all in this game? Look, you didn't even hit the right one. That's how bad these controls are. Well, it doesn't matter if you hit the right one. It just counts how many you cut down. Oh. Oh, my lord. So, yeah. This, this is, this I don't think there is any music in this game, though, really. This is brutal. But uh, keep this performance in mind. Or actually, I don't know that I recorded me ever doing this training again. But uh, when your stats are high enough, you can do this training and cut down all 100 of these bamboo pit sticks. Oh, nice. But yeah, there's 100, and oh. I got a third of that. Oh, thank God we're out of the angry cat zone. <laughs> that, oh, dude. <laughs> Like, that, that is the sound of pure madness. Now, how do you like... You're playing Saints Row. Have you done the vehicle surfing? Uh, I actually have not. We just skipped right to powers. Oh, well... Are you familiar with the controls for the vehicle surfing? Oh, you better believe it. Well, welcome to vehicle surfing, the uh, sit-down edition. <laughs> yeah. Where your samurai you... instantly falls asleep when he sits down, I guess. Awesome. Because staying awake for 30 seconds is a trial. Wow, you... <laughs> I thought you were joking, and then I realized both sides say sleep. Yeah, and if you fall asleep, the dude behind you whacks you with the stick. Man, that guy's ready, too. He's just like, yeah, no, close those that eyes. That is his whole job, and he loves his job. <laughs> Man, I would. Yeah, there I, we go. I gotta tell you, I think this game might be too good. No, I, st I stayed awake for 30 <laughs> seconds. That's an achievement. <laughs> that increased my insight. Oh, thank God. We really insight need is the stat that uh, parrying is tied to. Oh, so we can't yeah. helmet split? You're not allowed to helmet split till you earn a real katana. Uh, that would be hard to do with the, the boken or whatever. I'm telling you, dude, just trade with the Dutch. Get some steel. No, that's not earning it. <laughs> what the fuck is this? It, it's a uh, Guitar Hero. Wh but the timing's really bad, so you have to actually hit the button before the light gets into the crosshairs. Oh, nice. <laughs> But once you get used to it, you can rip it out every time. And this actually raises all of your stats. Oh, shit. But only by 20. Oh, it's <laughs> So great. if you wanted to raise all of your stats equally <laughs> with that training, you'd have to do it like 500 times. We're 10 days into this game? Yeah, every time you do anything, a day passes. Oh, my God. So, how oh, about some yeah. tests? Let, let's fight a dude who has a specific stat that is better than us. Nice. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh my god, you tanked over half of his health. Yep. Holy shit. Oh, oh god, I think he's got his second wind. What? Yeah, when I'm putting my hands out like that, that's me trying to parry. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm, tr Because my stats are so bad, you have to anticipate it. Oh. 
Don't worry, I I can see you desperately trying to make this game work. It's just not. No, I, I'm the best at swords, though. I'm gonna prove it. That despite this game, I'm still awesome at katanas. I don't whiff every time. So this really is super hot too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just want to say I, I know. I know it most likely stands for student, but Juro's STD <laughs> is what you're fighting right now, and that makes me extremely uncomfortable. I, I do not want to be in the room with this man. At least I'm anti-STD. <laughs> I'm not, like, trawling Craigslist looking for pause loads or whatever. Oh, God. He's the disease and you're the cure. Yeah, there you go. See, now my actual stats are going up. Oh shit, you ha you got Now I'm less garbage. And I've learned some moves. Solar Strike? Well, I assume it's Solar Strike. It could be Solar Stick. <laughs> it could be Solar Steak. A delicious steak. Wait, what just so, happened? Oh, it's... Here's, here's the massively complicated moveset oh. form generator thing. So... Solar Strike is just s swipe sideways. It's a horiz It's actually really important to have a horizontal strike, though. Yeah, that would have worked extremely well on that bamboo cutting mission. See how much faster okay. this combo is than the last one? Yeah, that one actually looks useful. And because it's horizontal, I've got a much better arc to hit things with. <laughs> so I don't have to be directly in front of somebody to hit them now. <laughs> And it's super useful for the bamboo cutting, yeah. Oh. Oh, he's feeling spicy. Okay, never mind. He's... he's... See, now I can just oh roll out God. the combos like that. Oh, he's in the corner. Kick his ass. <laughs> Fuck him up. Wow, that really does make a crazy difference. <laughs> I'm telling Holy you. Holy shit. Once you get out of that starting move set, <laughs> the game becomes like 10% bearable. Yeah, I was about to say, the game becomes actually playable uh, at least a little bit. Oh, oh god. Yeah, he'll I live. I think you actually killed that guy. Nah. There actually is a mechanic for killing somebody with a wooden sword in this game. Oh, shit. <laughs> you just tape a knife to it with, a... <laughs> with, with your samurai era duct tape. I wish. <laughs> so now this guy is supposed to be good at parrying, but that really just means he's garbage. Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean... Because the, the AI never really tries to parry you at this level. Oh, nice. Like, characters that have names will be able to parry you. <laughs> oh, God, so there are characters with names. Well, yeah, I mean, this is Juro's student, so Juro is his thing. Wasn't Juro the he... guy that beat the Christ out of you? And... <laughs> yes, he was. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Sweet. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, every dojo has a master, and every dojo except this one has a, uh, or no, this one does, because we have to fight him, has a uh, disciple, who's basically like the second in command dude. Okay. And they all have names. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the sword locking thing looks cool, but it's entirely automatic. Okay. That's and a... uh, it can happen even if you don't want it to. Oh, nice. And it can generally just be a pain. I can tell you, the fact that there's no music is, like, almost creepy. Well, the, all their budget went to these amazing simulation <laughs> mechanics of sword fighting. Oh. Isn't this super accurate and compelling? Oh, listen. I mean, like, Metal Gear Re Rising Revengeance, just get the fuck out of here. We have found the true sword master. <laughs> and his name went off screen the second I went to look at it. 
It starts with a T. I think it, it starts, starts with, with a, a T. Did it start with a K? Like Katsune or Kazumi Are you not or... talking about my character then? Yeah. No, the other guy's my... Juro's STD. Remember? Yeah, my my guy's name starts with a T. It's oh. like Tetsu something. Te Tetsukate's. Tatsumaru. Oh, Taketsune. Oh, see, I said I said Ketsune. So I was... well, I, you missed the entire point of starting with the T, though. So well, did, I mean, you know, I was I was a lot closer. <laughs> it was closer than Tatsumaru. I didn't even say Tatsumaru. <laughs> I know I did. <laughs> Oh man, if you were like five feet to the right, that guy would have kicked your ass. <laughs> this guy is good. Oh my god. <laughs> this poor man. Oh shit. Oh, no, no, never mind, he's dead. <laughs> The one thing that this sort of takes from Bushido Blade is that on the really strong attacks from the high-level guys, one hit can kill you. Damn. But oh, it's God. really rare to happen, and mostly it's just, oh, you're doing fine, and then they combo you, and three-quarters <laughs> of your health is gone in one combo. I gotta say, Lunging Blade sounds really good in this game where you can't aim your sword at all. I know, where if they're a millimeter to the left or right, it misses. It's yeah. the best move. Ooh. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, I should probably also mention, since we're talking about terrible controls and accuracy and all that stuff, <laughs> this game buffers inputs. No way. If you hit attack while you're attacking you will automatically go into the, your second hit of your combo oh even if they block God. the first hit and even if you try to press something else like the only way to cancel an input is by blocking and even then you have to do it before the move starts otherwise all of your inputs are buffered including parries attacks movement everything oh. God, no. You can get schooled and then parry because you tried to parry a move that they hit you with. I have no idea why they did that. It is the most uncomfortable thing. I gotta tell you, this game is kind of kind of rude. Oh, oh. oh shit. No, I got oh, him. No. There we go. <laughs> there we go. And that man's spine is severed. Omigoto. Omimoto apparently means, oh shit, you killed him. Yeah. <laughs> hey, oh, I maxed great. out my attack speed. Awesome. Now you get to grind more. No, because the training that increases attack speed is the one that's locked behind having a real katana. Oh my god. Now I get to fight ten opponents in a row. What the fuck? It's Ipmon time. Oh, don't worry, your HP will recover slightly. Yeah, it recovers, uh, maybe 20%. Oh, god. So. <gasps> this game's an asshole. <laughs>